Hello everyone. Um, just we continue on our topic, the managing health and safety, and we just knew that there are three main reasons for managing health and safety, and it's also a responsibility upon employees and employers as well. They are morally, legally, and economic reasons. So on those three reasons, what do you mean by each of them? We're gonna discuss each of it. The moral reason, those are the social or the social, uh, so social expectations. And these are the uh, prevention of diseases to those employees whenever he go to his job, we need to make sure that he's being fully prevented and also we have to justify the district the disregard from workers on health and safety. The second reason is the legal reasons. It's legally upon employers to prevent and to provide a safe work location, to provide the safe work equipment, and also to provide the safe materials, safe system of work, and safe procedures, and also providing those employees with uh, with the training, the proper training and sufficient training to make sure that those workers are competent enough to carry their tasks. Employers also, they should comply with national and international laws and international legislations. Whenever there is any new on those legislations, also it should be implemented within their work location and their work site. The third reason, which is the economic reasons. The economic reasons here we mean the business case, prevention of accidents, prevention of illnesses, and also the absenteeism will increasing the profit and also will decrease the costs of accidents and also decreasing the insurance costs as well. So economically, we have to make sure that the costs has been reduced as far as we can do. Those are the main three reasons. Regarding the employer responsibilities, any employer you have mainly five different responsibilities and those are the main five responsibilities. They have to provide a safe work location, they have to provide the safe plant and equipment and also they have to provide a safe system of work. Safe work location is including safe access and safe egress from that workplace and also a safe premises. All the assets within the work location they have to be safe either from his own responsibility or from the manufacturer responsibility and also the supplier responsibility. The safe plant and equipment, those are upon suppliers and manufacturers. When they design and manufacturing those equipment, they have to make sure that it's 100% safe. All of the hazards and risks within those equipments, they have to be rendered and they have to be reduced as far as possible. And the safe system of work, which is the work procedure, it's an employer responsibility to provide a safe procedure for their employees, telling them how they can conduct their tasks and how they can conduct their work in the uh, in the work site. The fifth or the fourth responsibility, it's the competent fellow employees or the competent employees. You have to make sure that those employees are competent enough by providing a sufficient training for them, by providing uh, a, a, a good supervision for them. And also whenever he introduce any contractor to his workplace, you have to make sure that those contractors are competent enough, they know how to deal with hazards and risks within the uh, work location. The last responsibility, which is information, instruction, training, and supervision. Information, instruction, and training, and supervision. It's one of the essential responsibility of the employer, which is mean that he have to supervise those employees. He have to provide them with the training, and also he have to instruct them properly and inform them regarding the health and safety issues within his or within the workplace to make sure morally they are safe, 
they will return home safely. So this regarding the employer responsibility. Regarding the workers, responsibilities and rights. They have a legal responsibility and also they have legal rights. So what do we mean by legal rights? Workers' rights, they are having the right to refuse to work in any work or in any tasks that they could harm them or they can lead to an accident that they can, for example, losing their lives. They have to make sure it's safe, 100 enough. If it's not safe, they can refuse it. It's one of their rights. The disclose information to the enforcing authority. They can also disclose any information from your organization to the enforcing authorities whenever they have been asked from the enforcing authorities. And also they have the right to be consulted. Workers, one of the most important tool to deal with them is consultation on health and safety issues. They can give their own views, which is, will be very helpful in improving or continuously improving the health and safety implementation in the work site. Other responsibilities for the workers it's regarding the responsibilities from them to the others. Who is the others? Those who are work with them in the work location, which might be, which they can be affected by their own tasks or by their own material or any work being done. So, what if they are affected? They have to make sure that they have been informed, and also they have to make sure that they are being prevented and. Uh, and they are not being exposed or being faced any kind of hazards that they can harm or they can affect their health. So in the next step, we will show more about the health and safety and, or the occupational health and safety scoop and nature. Thank you and see you in the next video.